So for my project, um, the one that I managed to uh, like finish or almost finish was the minor lookup. So this is chart data. Uh, this is chart using data from Sentinel Locations and Lily. For those who don't know, Lily is a tool that um, follows the Falcon chain and um, extracts like useful data such as minor info, messages, actors, states, and so on. Um, and basically puts it in, not sorry, not basically, but it puts it into a Postgres database um, with a timescale DB extension or you can think of it as a timescale DB. And so this was a chart that um, I prepared for somebody in PL a few months ago. Um, and as you can see, it's a geographic distribution of miners across the world. Um, and yeah, surprisingly, a lot of them are, well, storage providers are from China, uh, mostly. However, we only had geolocations of miners who self-reported their IP using data script from Lily. So in other words, um, we depended on the goodwill of miners to tell them, like, to tell us what their IP addresses are. And using those IP addresses, we would then use uh, geo IP IPFS um, to figure out, like, where in the world they are located. Um, so there's a work in progress available um, in, the, in the link. Um, you can clone the repo and check out the branch, create a Postgres database with time scale extensions, and insert some data from the mainnet using Sentinel Archiver into the minor infos table. And then you can run Sentinel locations and um, try it out. So what it, do, what, it, what it does is that it adds geolocation of miners into the Sentinel database using only their peer ID. Um, so this is accomplished using the CAD DHT and the basic DHT crawler. crawler. Um, so actually, usually you also need the state tree um, plus with the peer ID to figure out which miner it is um, that this uh, peer ID uh, belongs to. Um, but because Lily already has this data scrape, I just use um, SQL to fetch um, this data from the minor info table. Because um, I didn't want to pull in like state tree data just for this one little um, constraint or one check. Um, yeah, and in the process of doing this, I also implemented rating process of a node through a bootstrap peer list, very similar to JS and P2P bootstrap. Um, which is here in bootstrap.go. You can check it out. Um, most of the work is there, like parts of it, or a small part of it is in main.go of the same repository. Um, so I'm thinking of actually maybe like pulling it out and putting it into its own repository because I noticed that this is like a process that a lot of people do to, or not sorry, to, almost, to rail a, a, a node using bootstrap list. This is before and after. Um, so it, here it was a SQL query to get minus the self-reported IP address on the left. Um, it's really straightforward and actually works super well. It's very fast. And on the right, we have um, the crawl happening using the DHT. Basically, what happens is that um, the crawler uses the uh, DHT routing table to figure out um, what peers uh, we have found. Um, and then um, I add the list of uh, peers found to, uh, I, I add um, the peers found to a list of known peers. Um, and basically process it uh, with geolocation. Um, so yeah, this is a really bad gift <laughs> of, um, of uh, peer IDs to their multi addresses and uh, using crawl. Um, it happens super fast, so I had to like slow it down. Um, that's why like the quality is really bad. Um, but yeah, this, if, if you uh, clone the repo and um, run um, um, run certain allocations, it will, it, will, it will look like this. Um, so what's happening here is that peers are being discovered and it's being added to like the list of um, peers that we know so that we don't have to like process them again to look up their location again. Um, because we are doing this for a lot of peers and it can get really slow really quickly. Um, uh, yeah, I think segmentation error due to new pointer dereference. It's really deep in the stack trace um, and it actually like, yeah, so I discovered that, um, um, well, in the lessons learned, the like, libp library is large. I spent a lot of time writing my own code actually in the beginning. And so I didn't have this like six mutation error. And then I discovered like a few days ago that this crawler uh, package was already existing and um, much better than like how I wrote it because I also learned Go uh, during the launchpad. And so, yeah, but then um, after processing, like it would um, hit the segmentation error. So it would not like commit the changes to the database. Um, even though the lookups were happening. Um, so yeah, and then add tests to the crawl. Uh, yeah, I, I, a lot of the issues that I also had was actually like having the wrong protocol prefix for Filecoin mainnet. Turns out it's testnet net. Um, and I really had to go dip, deep into like uh, Lotus code base to figure out what the correct protocol uh, ID is for um, Filecoin mainnet so that uh, 
basically like the peer IDs could be verified and validated correctly in the DHT. Um, yeah, um, keeping track of Go routines, it's really hard. Um, I think that's probably why I'm having the segmentation error. And so going to try and fix it today or tomorrow. Let's see how it goes. But yeah, that's pretty much it from, from my side. Thank you. 